So I'm going to go very quickly over this. As I said, most of you should have been able to figure it out on your own. He said, if we start off at this point, suppose at K2, okay, what we have C is this. This is our investment. This is our, uh, oh, sorry, I'm, I'm doing it wrong. Uh, this right here is our investment. And this is our depreciation. So what you see is that depreciation is higher than investment. We have this scenario right here. Depreciation is higher than investment. As a result, capital stock in the next period is going to be less than capital stock in this period. So we start moving here, then here, then here. So what happens is we move in this direction or over here start moving here and we come back to here. So effectively, regardless of how much capital we have, there is going to be a movement towards this K star, which is known obvious. That's a steady state level. So my the question that might arise in you guys' mind is that is too much capital a bad thing because we've seen in this equation right here is that the more capital we have the more output we are going to be having but now what we are seeing is that that's not necessarily the case uh, if we have too much capital we may end up in a scenario where over time our output is falling. Why is that the case? So for that, we need to have a separate conversation. One is, uh, we've already had this discussion in the, uh, the previous chapter, is that where does growth come from? And the two uh, sources of growth that we were able to talk about, one is one was capital accumulation. The other was technological. But Right now, what you guys need to realize is that capital accumulation, this will not lead to the growth rate. Only high output. So if we have high, well, capital accumulation event this comes from investment and investment comes from savings right when you save uh, the equation that we've seen where is it right here so what effectively that equation tells us is that savings eventually becomes uh, its investment or at least the level of savings and the level of investment in an economy is the same. And investment eventually leads to greater accumulation of capital. So the question might be, can high savings lead to high rates of growth? And the answer is no. Because what we see over here is that given a level of savings, a fixed level of savings, we are going to always uh, head towards the steady state level. Even when we have less capital, when we have more capital, we are always heading in that one direction. Now the rate of savings can increase. 
if the rate of savings increase, let me draw another diagram and show it to you guys. We have K. This is output. So suppose this is savings, okay? And we of course have, let me draw this a little bit better. We have depreciation. Well, that looks horrible. So we have depreciation. And what that tells us, uh, what we've seen already, is that this is going to be the steady state level. We're going to have K star here. We're going to have Y star here. If savings, uh, what, what, what this would mean is that even if we have capital here, or if we have capital here, we're going to travel towards the steady state level, and we are going to end up here. Now, what happens if savings increase? If savings were to go up, if this value of S is to go up, suppose savings is 10%, and then it becomes 15%. What that would mean is that we get this. We have a new savings. As a result, we have a new steady state level, right? And so now this becomes the new steady state, K star. And this becomes the new steady state output, Y star. And so what we will do is we will travel in this direction. So savings can definitely increase our output. We've just seen that in this example, that when savings, the rate of savings went up, the, uh, our output went up. But what savings cannot do is give us a high level of growth for a period, there will be growth. So we were at this point. So this was our output. And then savings went from S to S prime. As a result, for a period of time, we traveled up from this to this, right? So we moved from this level to this level for a period of time there was growth in that economy. but once we reach this state the new equilibrium we stop we have a higher output than we had before that is a good thing but we no longer have a growth rate and that's the important thing to notice is that capital accumulation which primarily comes from savings will not lead to high growth rate for a period of time it will it might do for a small period of time but it will not do that for a long period of time however it will lead to high output which is what we have seen and so as a result uh, this is a very important finding is that you you tend to hear governments and parents and everyone tell us that savings is all that you need because savings only gives us half of what we want we want high output we want high income but we also want a high growth rate savings only gives us a high output but after a point it stops and of course keep in mind that savings the rate of savings is between the value of zero and one we can save 0% or we can save 100%. The problem is, let's draw another diagram. And let's say we're calculating the savings rate here. Okay. And we're calculating output here. What we're going to see is a diagram something like this. What does that mean? So at this point, over here, 
savings rate is zero. If there is no savings, there is no investment, there is no capital. If there is no capital, there is no consumption in the economy. That's a bad thing. We do not want that. Over here, savings rate is one, a hundred percent. We are saving everything that we have. Oh, sorry, this is not why. We don't really care about why. We care about consumption, how much we're consuming. If S is one, if we're saving everything that we are earning. Once again, we're not consuming it, so consumption is zero. What we see is that as we continue to save more, how much we're consuming begins to increase. And as we begin to save less from a very high level, how much we consume begins to increase. And there is a point at which our consumption is maximized. Okay. So whatever this level is, this can be 20%, this can be 30%, this can be 70%, it doesn't matter how much it is. Once we've reached this level, the level of savings that gives us the highest level of consumption. Let's come back here. Once we've reached that level, Suppose that level is right here. Once we've reached this level, what else can we do? Savings can no longer give us more output. And then what do we have to do to cause growth? We need technology. And this is where we are going to leave it in this chapter. So let me just summarize everything very quickly. In chapter 11, we started off by introducing this relationship that shows that investment eventually comes from savings and investment leads to capital and capital accumulation. Then we saw, this is very important, we saw how to calculate the level of capital that we're going to have next year based on this year's capital. And that gives us this relationship right here, which tells us that capital stock is increasing if investment is higher than depreciation, and capital stock is decreasing if investment is lower than depreciation. That's the, the two relationships right here that we calculated. Based on that, we were able to draw this diagram that shows us that if capital is, uh, that shows that uh, we are going to have a steady state level of capital. If capital is less than the steady state level, so K0 or K1 in our example, we are going to see that investment is higher than depreciation as the rest of capital stock is going to increase. If capital stock is more than the steady state level, so K2 in our example, we're going to see that depreciation is higher than investment as a result capital stock is going to fall every year until eventually we come back to the steady state level of capital and output. So that's capital and this is the steady state level of output. Now, how can we increase this? That may be a question is that for a period of time from K0 to K1 and so on until we arrive at K star, there is growth in the economy, but this is only in the short term. Once we arrive at K star, we stop. And how can we cause further growth, further increase in output per worker to take place? Well, there are two ways of doing that. The two ways are what we've already talked in chapter 10 capital accumulation and technological progress. But the problem with capital accumulation is that capital accumulation comes from savings. And we can't really save everything that we have. There is a level to how much we can save. And once we've reached that level, we sort of stop. And accumulating more capital 
leads to a situation where our depreciation is higher than investment. So effectively, once we no, not this. Once we've arrived at this point, if we save more, we get more capital. However, the problem is if we have too much capital, what happens is that depreciation is very high. And as a result, it overshadows investment that we're making. So as a result, there is a maximum level where uh, of consumption that we can get from savings and more savings from that point only leads to a fall in consumption. So savings cannot give us non-stop control. After a point, it's going to stop. And so the question is, how can we uh, lead to a situation where we have constant growth? And for that, we are going to need technological progress. Okay? So we have been talked about technology a lot in chapter 10 and 11. We were just trying to set things up right now. We will be talking more about technology in the next two chapters, which is uh, 12 and 13. So the things you guys should do is read chapter 11. So in the short run or the medium run, it wasn't that important for you to read the chapters. If you had been doing it, that's great. If not, you could have gone by just through my videos, but in the long run area over here, it's, it's important that you all read the chapters. So before you go and take a look at next week's lectures, uh, please do read the chapter from the book. And then of course, there's going to be some practice problems for the assignment. Also.